What do you do when you're overtaken by your problems? You're outnumbered and you're out of options. What do you do? The option is defined as being something chosen, an alternative. We need and want options. If we're going to buy a car, we want to know the options. If we're buying insurance, we want to find out the option. We are an option-oriented society. But the word opportunity means circumstances that are favorable for a purpose to be accomplished. And what I want you to understand is, with God, when you run out of human options, you always have hidden divine opportunity. Sometimes you run out of options, but you never run out of opportunities to seek God. Go with me to Exodus chapter 14. Notice verse 9. So the Egyptians pursued them and all the horses and chariots of Pharaoh, his horsemen and his army, and overtook them camping by the sea beside Hebrath before Baal Zephon. And the Bible said they were overtaken. Just as Israel had come out of Egypt and they were headed to the promised land, God ordained that they encounter a place where they were outnumbered, out-resourced, and out of options and alternatives. Moses was told by God to tell the people to go forward. What do you mean go forward? There's a Red Sea. There's mountains on the side. The enemy's coming, and you're telling me to go forward into an obstacle, into an impossibility. How can I do that? God was saying, if you want an answer, challenge the obstacle. If you want an answer, go forward. Walk into it with faith. And just by faith say, here I come. I am not afraid. I am not fearful. But I stir up my faith and I walk by faith, not by sight. You take a chance. Your enemy, Satan, delights in shutting down every option in your life so that we concede and we compromise and we quit and we give up. But when you run out of options in any area of your life, it presents you with an opportunity to experience God like you've never experienced Him before. The world offers you options. But Jesus never gives you a bunch of options. He says, follow me and I'm not giving you a road map and I'm not giving you a brochure of what this trip's going to look like. You follow me wherever I go. And if I take you to a valley, walk in the valley and praise me. And if I take you through a fiery furnace or a lion's 